That's all we want. A choice. A chance. There's your chance. Take it. Be grateful. The day will come when you won't be. Hey, what's going on, guys? Back one more time with uh, another throwback review for Season 4. It's going to be for Season 4, Episode 14, entitled The Grove. Alright, guys. We'll get right into this review. Uh, episode starts out with Carol and Lizzie keeping watch at night while Tyrese and Mika sleep on the railroad tracks. Lizzie asks Carol if she is used to having kids. Carol says that she had a daughter who didn't have a mean bone in her body. Is that why she isn't here now, Lizzie asks. Carl... Carol nods. The next morning, Tyrese estimates that they're several days away from Terminus. As they follow the tracks, Carol tells Tyrese she isn't concerned about the girl's survival, believing Mika is too gentle and Lizzie confused about what walkers really are. Carol and Tyrese smell smoke and note that there must be a fire nearby. Carol and Mika go off to search a water box. Tyrese rests his injured arm. A walker advances on Tyrese and Lizzie, but falls into a gap in the tracks, trapping itself. As Tyrese readies his hammer, Lizzie begs him to spare the walker's life. Sometimes you have to kill them, she admits, but sometimes you don't. Meanwhile, Carol implores Mika to toughen up. Mika insists that she can kill walkers, but won't kill people because it's wrong. Carol says Mika will die if she doesn't change. They discover a house in the middle of a pecan grove. Carol suggests that they stay put up for a couple of days. Carol and Tyrese case the house for walkers as the girls wait outside with Judith. Lizzie frets that the adults will find a walker inside and kill it. They aren't people, Mika chastises, to which Lizzie disagrees. A walker attacks Lizzie and Mika and Mika shoots it dead. Carol and Tyrese race out to check on the girls. As Lizzie cries in mourning for the dead walker, Mika soothes her by instructing her to look, look at some random flowers nearby. And counter three. That night, a, the group sits around the living room fireplace. Tyrese takes in the peaceful scene and expresses contentment. Mika suggests that they make this house their home. Twice, a large column of smoke is seen arising that's not too far away in the distance. The next day, Carol sees Lizzie playing with a walker in the yard, whom Lizzie names Griselda. She runs outside and kills the walker with, his, with her knife. She, she's my friend. You killed her, Lizzie screams. Carol says that Walker wanted to kill Lizzie, but Lizzie refuses to listen. While hunting in the forest, Carol tells Mika that she's smarter. Uh, she's the smarter of the two sisters when it comes to walkers. They spot a deer. Mika aims her rifle, but ultimately can't pull the trigger. Carol looks on, disappointed. While collecting well water with Carol, Tyrese suggests that they live in the house instead of going to Terminus. I trust you, he tells Carol, and admits he's not ready to be with other people yet. Mika catches Lizzie feeding a mouse to the walker trapped on the railroad track and admonishes her. They just want me to change to make me be like them, Lizzie insists. As she reaches for the walker's snapping mouth, more walkers emerge from the woods. Mika grabs Lizzie and they flee. Tyrese and Carol hear the girls scream and find them being chased by a pack of walkers. All four form a line and shoot the walkers down. That night, Carol asks Lizzie if she finally understands what walkers are. I know what I have to do now, Lizzie replies. It's ugly and it's scary and it does and it does change you, Carol says. But that's how we get to be here. The next day, Carol and Tyrese hunt together in the forest. Carol warms up to Tyrese's idea of living permanently at the house. Tyrese then admits that he's haunted by nightmares of Karen and the person who killed her. Misinterpreting Carol's discomfort as empathy, Tyrese hugs her. Carol and Tyrese arrive at the house to find Lizzie standing over Mika's dead body, a bloody knife in her hand. Judith lies on a blanket nearby, still alive. Don't worry, she'll come back, Lizzie says of her sister. I didn't hurt her brain. Lizzie also states that she was about to do the same to Judith. Carol and Tyrese move to disarm Lizzie, but she aims a pistol at them, insisting that they have to wait for Mika to wake up. Carol coaxes the gun from Lizzie and dissuades her from harming Judith. Tyrese brings Lizzie and Judith inside. Alone, Carol sobs and then takes out her knife to put Mika down. That night, Tyrese says he learned that Lizzie had been feeding the prison walkers and wonders if Lizzie had killed Karen and David. It wasn't her, Carol says, debating Lizzie uh, wouldn't let them turn. Tyrese suggests that 
He leaves with Judith to protect her, but Carol sees the one and only option for Lizzie. She can't be around other people, she says, meaning that Lizzie should be killed for her own safety. Carol takes Lizzie for a walk as Tyrese watches from the window. Please don't be mad at me. I didn't mean to point the gun at you, Lizzie wails, sensing Carol's mood. Carol tells Lizzie to look at the flowers and takes out her revolver. Carol pulls the hammer back on her revolver and after a moment she pulls the trigger. Afterwards, Carol and Tyrese dig graves for the girls in front of the house. That night, Carol gives Tyrese her revolver and admits that she killed Karen and David. I had to stop the illness from breaking out, she explains, inviting him to do whatever he needs to do. Tyrese grips the table, trying to contain his rage. I forgive you, he finally says, but I'm never going to forget, he continues. It's a part of you now. Me too. The next day, Carol and Tyrese leave the grove with Judith and resume their path down the robot tracks towards Terminus. All right, guys, that was the quick little rundown review of uh, Season 4, Episode 14, The Grove. I appreciate you checking this out. As always, guys, uh, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Welcome to Winburn. <laughs>